Hey everyone, here I'm doing exercise 2.2, third question, chapter is whole number of class 6. The question is, find the value of the following and we have a 4 question. Now if you observe this question carefully, we have 2 numbers multiplied and then plus and 2 numbers are getting multiplied. Now you also observe here, we have a one number which is repeating on both the side of the addition. So we have a plus sign over here. On the left side we have a 297, on the right side we have a 297. And if you observe all other questions here, you will see the same number repeated on both the side of addition or subtraction. So in the first question, 297 is repeated on both the side, which means then you have to use a distributive property to solve it. Now distributive property is very simple. Like I said before, whenever you see uh, in bit like on both the side of the addition or subtraction, same number, then you have to use a distributive property. Now what does a distributive property say? Now it is like, suppose we have a into b okay so suppose then plus a into c okay then this will be equal to a into okay a we are taking out because a is present on both the side of the plus we're going to take the a out so if i take the a out of the bracket then b will be left here so b and there's a plus sign right so b plus if i a take out the a common out c will be left so c that's it so instead of multiplying this two and then multiplying this two and then adding it we're going to use a distributive property where you have to take the number which is common out like a was common so we have to pull the a out of the bracket so you're going to first do the addition of these two numbers whatever answer you got you're going to multiply with a so instead of multiplying twice and adding it we're going to use a distributive property now this one i ex explain you for the addition same thing goes for the subtraction also so let's write the question here so we have a 297 so 297 multiplied by 17 plus we have 297 multiplied by 3. So 297 is present on both the sides. So this will be equal to 297 into in a bracket we have if I take 297 out. So here I'm left with 17. 17 so there's a plus sign put plus sign so this 297 is out of the out of the bracket so what is left 3 is left so write down the 3 that's it now the addition is easy is easy so 297 multiplied by 17 plus 3 is 20 so we'll get here 20 now you have to just multiply 297 and 2 so 297 into 2 will be this 297 and 2 you multiply instead of multiplying with 20 we're going to multiply here with 2 and then you just put 0 at the end it will be 594 so 594 and there's a 1 0 here i'm going to put the 0 here that's it so that's the first question now let's go with the second one second one we have a big number five uh so it's 54,000. 290 sorry 279 multiplied by 2 sorry multiplied by 92 plus the same number 8 into the same number 54,279 uh, now if you observe here we have a this number on the this side and this number on the right side of the plus sign but that's okay it is present on the both the side of the addition so that is what matters here so i'm going to pull out this number common so 54,279 will be out as a common so if i take out this number out what is left here 92 is left we have a plus sign so put plus sign so if i take out this number out what is left 8 is left so write down 8 so 54,000 279 multiplied by 92 plus 8 is 100 so multiplied by 100 so you have to just multiply this whole number with 1 you will get the same number 54,279 and then we have a two zeros put those two zeros that's it so that was second question now third one third we have 81,265 multiplied by 169 now we have a subtraction here so again 81,265 multiplied by 69 so this 81,265 is present on both the side of the subtraction so we're going to take this thing out so 81,265 will be outside the bracket so multiplied by so if i pull out this thing what is left 169 is left so i'll get 169 and then we have a minus sign so put minus sign same thing if i pull this thing out what is left 69 is left so write down 69 
So we're going to subtract this too. So 81,265 multiplied by 169 minus 69 will be 100. So again you have a 100. So you're going to get the same number followed by two zeros at the end. That's it. So that was a problem C. Now we have a last problem to solve. So I have to just identify which number to take out and then solve it. So here we have a three three numbers on both the side of the plus sign. So which one to take out here? So you have to take out th uh, the number which are present on both the side of the uh, plus or minus sign, but they should present on both the side. So if you observe the la this last question, we have a three thousand eight hundred forty five on one side, and we have five into seven eighty two plus seven sixty nine multiplied by twenty five multiplied by two hundred eighteen. Now how to solve this one? So 5 is present. There is no number which is present on both the side, right? So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to split this 25 as 5 into 5 so that 1, 5 will be out here. Alright? And I'm going to multiply this 769 with 5 because 5 nine size is 45. We are, uh, I'll explain you. Let me erase this whole thing. I'm going to explain this question once again. So here we have this is problem D. Okay, so three eight four five multiplied by five multiplied by seven eighty two plus we have seven sixty nine multiplied by twenty five multiplied by two hundred eighteen. Now we have to use a distributive property here. But if you see here, we don't have a number which is present on both the side of the plus sign. Same number, right? But I'm gonna split. I'm gonna write in such a way that we can able to take a common. So how to do it? So here if you see 25 is present and I have a 5 present. So I'm going to split this 25 as 5 into 5. Okay. We got 1 5 which is common. Now I have here 769 and I have a 218. And I have here 782. Okay. And then I have here 3845. So this is a 4 digit number. So there are chances that if I multiply this 5 either with 769, 1, one 5 which is left extra, I can either multiply with 769 or with 218 so that I can get any one of these values. Okay. I'm just checking in that way. So if I multiply, 515 with 218 so 5 8 is 40 right so I'll get 0 the, the whatever answer I'm getting I'll get 0 at the end but I don't want 0 here because both this number one is ending with 5 one is ending with 2 I will not get it so only chance is multiply this 5 with 769 so let's multiply and check if what we are getting so 769 multiplied by 5 so 5 9 is 45 5 6 is 30 plus 4 is 34 then 5 7 is a 35, 35 plus 3 is 38. So we're getting 3845, which is same as the first number. So we're going to multiply this 769 and this one single 5, and this 5 will be left out. And this 218 also will be same thing. So let me just write down this once again. So this is, I'm just writing the question. So it's 769 multiplied by 25 multiplied by 218 so this is equal to 3845 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 782 plus 769 multiplied by this 25 I'm splitting it as 5 into 5 into 218 now I'm going to multiply this one single 5 with 769 so that I'll get 300 3845 so multiplied by 5 into 782. So when I multiply this 2, I'll get 3845. Multiplied by 5, multiplied by 218. Now if you observe here, we have 3845 present in both the side of plus sign. 1, 5 is also present in both the side of plus sign. So I can take this thing outside. So this will be equal to 3845 multiplied by 5 also both these numbers I'm taking out so if this number is out from this side only 782 is left out then we have plus sign put plus sign and from here 218 is left out so we're gonna add this two when you add this two we'll get thousand so this is and we have to multiply this with 5 also so multiply 3845 with 5 will get here 19,225. I'm not multiplying, I'm showing, I've already multiplied. You will get this answer. Then multiplied by, when you add these two numbers, we'll get 1,000.
this is equal to you don't have to multiply just uh, write down the number followed by three zeros so it will be one nine two two five zero 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 that's it so I hope it is clear how we're doing it the last question especially how to split and how to find out the number which is common both the side of plus or minus sign now in case you have further question on distributive property or any other question from this chapter you can leave a comment thank you so much for watching